Hello friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I will show you how you can install an app in your local machine or local Android phone. The app which you have developed using Android Studio. How to, for, how to develop an uh, app in Android Studio? Please watch my previous videos, the link for which is above. And also in the above link, I have shown how you can uh, build an uh, APK from your Android Studio which you can install on your Android phone. For this video purpose, I am using Redmi Xiaomi phone, but you can use any of the Android phone and it should work fine. Once you have built that APK file in your Android Studio, you can transfer that APK file from your computer, your laptop to your Android phone using data cable or Bluetooth or uh, I'm not sure there are lots of file sharing apps, Google, uh, this email services or anything. What I used is I used WhatsApp to transfer the file. It may sound a little weird, but that works fine for me. Once you transfer your APK file on your Android phone, you have to go to your file manager and okay. And you can go to this APK um, folder and it should reside there. In certain cases, if you have saved your APK file into some certain different location, you may have to go to that respective place. Once you have this uh, APK installed, once you have this APK file found, you just click on that. It will open this page and it says for security, your firm is set to block installation of apps from unknown sources. Of course, the source from which this APK file has been downloaded on your uh, Android phone is not recognized by Android system, operating system, because it has not come through some Play Store or some of the other recognized stores. So for that, since this app has been built by you, so it's okay to trust it and you can enable that setting where it allows you to install an app from an unknown sources. So you can go to this setting and it will take you to this page where you can just click on this link and enable it. I will highly recommend not to do it if you don't know the person from you, from whom you have got this APK file. So once you have done that, you have to just click on this .apk file and this page will come up. Just click on this install button. You have to, you should wait for a few seconds depending upon your system. And once you have it, uh, yeah, your yeah, your app is installed. You have to just click on this done. And that's it. Your app is installed. You, once you go back to your uh, home page, you should see this icon which should appear. Of course, this icon, image and everything, the name will depend upon what you have built in your Android Studio. So if you want a custom image, please do it in your while you are creating that APK file in your Android Studio. So this app, what I'm going to, I'll start this app just by clicking on this. And you should ask, okay, allow location saying, yes, of course, I'll allow it. So in this app, if you have seen my previous video, the link for which is above, it will show you that in this app, what I'm doing is I'm trying to track the current position of my phone. To a start, it comes as a Sydney as my location, but that's incorrect. I'm not in Australia. I'm not in Sydney. Uh, why it starts in uh, Sydney is for that. Please watch my previous video. Then you'll understand. But in this uh, brief, I'll tell you that by default, the marker starts in Sydney for this app. Okay, so to make this app working, two things you have to do. Make sure that your GPS is on. So I'll first uh, close this app. I'll just close this app. I'll go and make sure that my GPS is on. So GPS was on. So that should have worked fine. It did not go to my current location. I'll just restart and try to figure out. Yeah, so if I see, yeah, no, it's searching for GPS. If you see the notification, and no, I expect like in few seconds, since this is the first time, probably it may take some time. It should go from Australia to the place where I'm currently is. Let me see that. So before it does, okay, yeah. So it, it went to Germany. So that's correct. I'm right now in Germany right now. It currently points to the my current position. If you click on market, it will show my current position. So that is the string which we gave in our Android uh, coding uh, in Android Studio while doing our app coding. You can watch my previous video for which the link of course has been displayed. Yeah, and if you remember that in my uh, that 
uh, code we i explained that we are not since we are not deleting deleting the previous marker so in your map all the markers will remain one thing which i would like to take uh, explain over here is you don't need internet connection for this app to work but for the first time when you start this app you may need internet connection to download the maps on your local uh, phone but please note you may not need uh, once you have the map for tracking your local uh, city or local town place where you are living you may not need uh, uh, inter internet connection so that's it that was pretty much simple i guess so the i will just summarize one second recapitulate you have to get an apk uh, which will come and sit here in the apk folder once this apk is there you have to just uh, go to your uh, uh, settings to make sure that uh, unknown sources is checked on yeah one more thing uh, probably before i end this video i'd like to show you you go to your settings in additional settings under privacy you should make sure you uncheck this unknown sources once your installation is done please do not do not leave it on because your phone becomes prone to your hacking uh, by some unknown uh, apps installation why this one notification came is because if you remember in our uh, code we had done that the refresh rate of map will be five meter displacement or otherwise a uh, refresh time of I think one second or two seconds so each that time the, our map will get refreshed and a new marker position will come up wherever if, if you have moved at all if not then of course it will be pointing to the same location okay thank you for watching this video I hope uh, this explains nicely how you can install an APK and one of your custom apps in your Android phone if you have any questions please put in my comment section if you like this video please uh, subscribe to my channel.